G'day Ocean Anglers, where to fish this weekend? So it's uh, it's autumn time, anchovy time. Let's have a quick look at the weather and the tides. So tomorrow, Saturday, in the morning looks really good. This is for the noisies. So in the mornings, you know, really good. And then there's a bit of a southwesterly coming up in the afternoon. So be careful of that if you're going venturing out far. You know, don't trust the old southwesterly in Auckland. So if you want to go fishing, go in the morning. Let's see what the tide is on Saturday morning. Here we go here. So we've got a 6 o'clock low tide. So that's really good. So the fish should start biting at about, say, 7. And then it's high tide at 12. So 7 to 11, that'd be a good period to fish. And then on the other side of that, but it's a bit windier, uh, would be, say, your 1 o'clock till uh, 5.30 kind of period. So my pick on Saturday would be the fish the morning incoming tide with the lighter winds. Let's have a look at Sunday. So Sunday, we've got southeast leaves and then uh, dropping off and have a bit of a uh, switch around in the wind on uh, Sunday. So that can often bring the fish on. So I'd be looking if I was going on Sunday to fish in the afternoon. Let's have a look at the tides because we want to be fishing when the tide is flying. So in the afternoon, it's high at 12.40. So the fish should start biting about 1.30. So Sunday, my pick would be the afternoon. So from, say, 12, from 1 till like 6, that would be the best time to fish on Sunday, in my opinion. So Saturday, fish in the morning, Sunday, fish in the afternoon. Things can change, so check the weather. Let's have a look about where you should go. So because it's anchovy season, guys, where it's happening, the best fishing I've had lately for pennies is around this area here, all through here, Albert Show, Rosario Channel, Cowell, Motor Aura, all through here is absolutely chocker with anchovies. So get into these channels, look for the shearwaters, look for the rafts of birds, follow them, they know where the anchovies are. Drop your micro jigs, your weasel, 25 grams. I keep on going on about these, but these are the ones that work. 25 gram weasel micro jigs are the ticket in anchovy season. So that is a really good area. Another place to go that's going to be loaded with the anchovies is along this coastline here. That would be another good place to look. Uh, further out, I've had some good reports from Dave Mead. He's out there now telling me this area all through here is absolutely loaded chock-a-block with snapper. And he's been catching some very good-sized snapper. He sent me a few photos. They look around the magic 20-pound mark. Fishing all around here, people. This seems to be the hot spot for out deep. Uh, look for the schools of Kawai, he said. And underneath the Kawai are some really big snapper. So that's where I'd be going if you wanted to head out wide. And also the old Patience Bank. Very good time of year for that, which is this bank here. We call it the Patience Bank because you have to drift along for at least 20 minutes to half an hour before you may catch something. But when you start catching them, it seems to bring them on the bite and the school gathers around the boat. So around here as well, make sure it's calm. And, you know, out here, a touch of secret sauce on your jitterbugs or your sliders can often bring them on. Uh, so that whereabouts. Uh, also had good reports uh, around here. So through this area here, and even into here, uh, lots of anchovies, lots of snapper, really good time of year for this area. All through here should be fishing really well. There's not going to be the old pilchard workups, but all you need is a bit of sign on your sounder, a few splashes on the surface, a bit of bait, a few shearwaters dancing around, and there will be good sized snapper underneath. Great time of year to go fishing, guys. It's good weather, so get out there, and please do let us know how you get on.